Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. I'm still trying to pick my openings. Good luck. There was one opening in particular. Uh, oh no, this thing? This is the opening I just lost with on the teaching ladder the other day. Um, we're going to try to not lose this game in the same way that we lost the last game. We'll find a different way to lose this game. That's the hope. Um, but yeah, one thing that stands out about this opening, with the bishop approaching so quickly, uh, is that <laughs> it's a very aggressive opening. Um, and one way to counter it is by playing very aggressively. So maybe I'll try to do that. Um, another way to counter it would be to run your bishop around all of this. Okay, I'm going to blunt this bishop before it hits my king. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to move my rook in front of all of this and use it to cut off their rook and pieces. Um, and then swing over here and shoot for the king directly. Um, spend one turn to defend my king. And see what our opponent does. Perhaps I messed up earlier and that the silver and all these pieces could have joined together on this point, but now they have a pawn in the way. So it's not so easy for them to launch an attack here, as it was perhaps earlier. Um, okay, continue fighting against the bishop. But yeah, on the weekly ladder, the teaching ladder, most recently I played Central File Rook and got crushed by this, and so I want to play something else this game. Something that's not Central File Rook. And see how it goes. Um, Alright. Oh, shit. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, okay, you're not going to accept my offer, are you? Nope, didn't think so. So I'm just going to aim for the king. They did promote their rook. It's now a dragon. It now can move diagonally one square. This is a position where the dragon, I don't know, if it had an obvious target, I'm not seeing the obvious target. Maybe there is one, but I'm just not seeing it. Um, I didn't realize my opponent could corner my bishop like this. So yeah, the silver is just going to come up and hit my bishop. And what can I do? Hmm... I can trap my bishop. Mm -hmm. And then we untrap it this way. Oh. Um. Well, this is going to get awkward. I missed that completely whiffed on it. Um, my opponent wins my bishop. I get nothing. Not that there was much I could do, but... Mm, it's nice to see the punch coming before it hits you in the face. Um, at least that's a theory. 
All right, so the entire purpose of this opening is to win my bishop. My opponent has fulfilled their only objective. They won my bishop. Now what? Mm -hmm. They use it to attack me. That makes sense. Um... Okay, I will attack on this side. Hmm. And try to make this bishop less effective. Oh, I just trapped my rook. Uh, well, we are trying and failing repeatedly here. Um, mm -hmm. That's such a desperate attack, and it has no chance, but let's try it anyway. Oh, this actually doesn't even work the way I hoped it would, because they can drop a pawn in front of my rook. Hmm... Yeah, I'm just completely adrift at sea here. Um, when in doubt, try the dumb move. Hmm. Gofun. Mm. My move doesn't do much good. They just promote their other bishop here. Um, they did manage to capture one of their pieces. So that's one piece better than nothing, but... Um, hmm.
Hmm. I guess I could resign if I want to get two more games in today. The daily reset is approaching. And as much as I want to fight this out to the bitter end, I've got nothing here. Like, what can I possibly do? It's too bitter. <laughs> um... Obviously, they just promote here, and they don't allow this fork. Even if they allowed the fork, they'd still be fine. But they don't need to allow it. Um... Hmm... All right, thanks for the game. Well played. One down, two to go. Good luck. I've forgotten how this goes. There's a trap somewhere in here. I don't think bishop takes knight is correct. If it is, I've forgotten it. Um, and maybe it is the right move, because it seems hard to find a different move that's right here. Um, Why didn't I move the rook out? <laughs> I should have moved the rook forward. I did some weird moves this game. Hmm. What an odd position. 
Uh, wait a second. With everything up in the air, maybe I shouldn't play the first move that comes to mind. Even though frequently the first move is the correct move. Yeah, that's a fork, and generally you don't run from a fork. But, uh, in this case, I think I have everything supported well enough. That running actually just wins. Generally running from a fork is a waste of time. Here, not so much. Um, hmm. Nanafun. That's clever. Two down, one to go. Good luck. Mm, yeah, okay, we'll play Static Rook. I've been saying that one thing I should do is play this more. Um, so let's play it more. Hmm. I mean, I guess that doesn't hang anything. It's funny, our proverb for today is, if there are loose pieces, you won't be stuck for a move. And yet, I seem to have a lot of loose pieces. But 
But I guess I'm not the only player to have loose pieces. Hmm. I guess I'm making a gambit. Since pawn doubling is forbidden, well, this pawn drop would block their bishop. They'd rather not do that. Um, I think I have enough pieces supporting the center square. I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, things go very badly wrong, but I think I'm right. So if the silver moves, I can hit this pawn, but this does invite my bishop to be attacked. Um, oh, this doesn't work. All right, fine. We'll give the king an escape route. And debate doing the complete duck leg strategy to protect this square, but seems a bit redundant at the present. And I probably should just move the knight out. Even though the knight doesn't do anything. Um, there we go. There's the duck. Um... Well, um, hmm. our opponent still has a pawn in hand. This is such a mess. But since I gave up a pawn, everything I do becomes that much more difficult to do. Um... Ew. Well, this is gonna suck. Oh, they can... Pursue the bishop directly. Nanafu. Instead of just chomping my pawn. Um, I mean, yeah, that's an easy pawn and an easy knight. But they didn't have to do this. Now they have two pawns in hand. Mm -hmm. Alright, fine. Finding any place to attack is challenging. Mm -hmm. How far back do I go?
I think I have to go this far back. There, I've activated my bishop. Somehow. This position. Well, at least my king is stuck between two castles. The worst part is that my rook is just dead. Um... I have no way to activate it. The only way I could activate it is by removing this silver from behind. Uh, well, opponent either missed or whatever is just allowing this, but we're gonna do it. If the rook protects the gold, I guess I take this bishop. I guess, yeah. My opponent's pointing out that my attack is not quite as important as their attack is. Uh, they might be right. Okay, let's remove this bishop. Okay. Um... Hopefully I'm not checkmated here. Real players would know if they're mated before they go into a line. But I'm just playing... playing around. Um, hmm. Okay, I'll shut down this bishop again. I don't need this gold. Well, I mean, I kind of do because it's trapping my rook, but this gold is in the way of the king. And the king's my target, so... Alright, the opponent Go commits their bishop. Um... Hmm. What can I do about this? No, actually... My fork doesn't do any good because this bishop protects the silver. promote back this way. What do I do? Um, I'm trying to aim at the king, but there's a million pieces in the way. I think this is the closest I can get in the short term. Oh, but this actually helps their bishop evacuate. Maybe I don't want to do this. Hmm. Okay, Lance Drop is my threat. There it is. OK. 
Okay. Hmm. There's no obvious breakthrough here. I'm wanting this for the skull to cut off some of their pieces. Um So now the five five square is open. My castle is severely weak, but if I get pieces on this file, then they use a pawn to block the file. Um, man, what a mess. Mm -hmm. Nifun. Hmm.
game. Tough game there. Alright, that's three games, right? Have I counted correctly? These games went quickly. I think I've counted three games. Um, let's try a third? Well, no. Yeah, that must have been game three. Because I'm looking at the wall time. So yeah, that was our third game today. Uh, sorry, I've lost count. These games were quite exciting. Uh, I think I remember we fixed our scene here. So, um, what do we conclude? It's good to know what's a checkmate, know what's not a checkmate. Uh, recently, I've seen this technique where near the very end of the game, uh, just yesterday, I think it was, in our weekly ladder, I was thinking that I'd survived this very strong attack, and then my opponent exchanged their rook for a gold. This last game, I concluded the game by exchanging my rook uh, for a bishop. It turns out if you just get the one key piece you need to checkmate, then you drop the piece, and then that's mate. That's a pattern that can be useful. Um, it can be very difficult to find that when you're in time pressure, to find which piece do I need and why. But it's good to know your checkmates, and the more you practice them, the more that earlier in the game you can anticipate, oh, if I had this piece, I could win the game. And you just back up from the end game and work your way back. So, um, yeah, hope we enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.